Jaundice is the most common condition requiring medical treatment in newborns. Severe neonatal jaundice can cause permanent neurological damage, and it leads to more than 100,000 deaths each year. Yet babies go unscreened and untreated for a lack of accessible methods and equipment. The need is particularly imperative in Peru, where more than 90% of health facilities, the public health facilities, lack the capability to adequately diagnose and treat neonatal jaundice. This contributes to a rate of cronicterus, a type of jaundice-linked brain damage that's up to 20 times greater than in high-income countries. Recognizing that urgency, a multi-ministry task force in Peru recently identified neonatal jaundice as a national health priority, and they invited the local NGO in MedAndes to join the effort and help mobilize additional support. I'm Linda Pfeiffer, CEO of InMed Partnerships for Children, and we have a game-changing solution supported by the Ministry of Health. The Billy Kit is the first complete jaundice management package of its kind. It's innovative both in how it meets pre previously unmet needs and it integrates into accepted health system pathways to deliver care. Specifically, equipping community health agents with the Billy Ruler developed by Brigham and Women's for universal screening when jaundice reaches its peak in the first week of life. Then diagnosing jaundice with only a drop of blood with the Billy Stick developed by Billy Metrics. This reduces the need for repeated invasive blood draws that mothers often resist or where lab facilities are unavailable. And making available clinically optimal phototherapy treatment even in remote areas with the uniquely portable battery capable Billy Hut developed by Little Sparrows Technologies. Each of the Billy Kits technologies has been individually validated in developing countries with sensitivity, specificity, predictive value, accuracy, and therapeutic impact that's comparable to traditional, and there I mean more expensive, less accessible devices. That's why the Billy Kit is transformational for evidence-based care. Neonatal jaundice requires a complex sequence of screening, diagnostic, and treatment events in a very short time period in order to prevent irreversible progression of neurologic injury. And the Billy Kit overcomes barriers at each step of that clinical pathway. Outcomes will be documented through a rigorous evaluation plan approved by the Peru Ethics Committee. Our health system partners will collect and share indicators such as the rate of newborn screened and treated, um, acceptance of the technologies, and of course they'll collect outcomes data such as incidence of severe and extreme jaundice, uh, pre and post treatment bilirubin levels, hours of treatment um, that are needed for resolution, etc. Our quasi-experimental design includes collection of that same data in geographically and socio-culturally similar comparison areas. All of these results will inform refinements in the Billy Kit to scale not only in Peru but internationally. Implementing partners are in place within the Peruvian health system at the local, regional, and national levels. And the Peru project team, led by InMed Andes, has the core competencies to effectively lead. The PI is a medical doctor and an expert on maternal and child health, social marketing, and evaluation. The project manager is an obstetric nurse who personally knows the pilot region health officials and personnel and has extensive experience in health worker training and capacity building. The innovation prize would take us to the next level in communications for the Billy Kit by investing in a website and social media outreach for social marketing and jaundice care and as a platform for scaling this program uh, within both the public health system and private clinics. After mobilizing our partners in response to uh, the, um, the Saving Lives at Birth competition earlier this year, the Grand Challenges, we're now in the early implementation stage of the Billy Kit project with InMed Andes, um, who just finalized a two-year contract with Grand Challenges Canada for $800,000. And we hope that, um, that you'll support this critical effort. Thank you.